Nine-year NBA vet. Um, it's been a crazy past couple years for you. <clears throat> Can you you mind walking us kind of through? I know you were in an accident. You retired. Talk to us about well, what's kind of been going on in your yeah. life. Yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy two years for everybody, right? right? Yep. Like, no one could have predicted this happening. But, uh, yeah, man, it was nuts. I was just, I was leaving practice one day, random day in Atlanta, 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. And I'm driving. I just see this car coming at me and just completely T-bones me. And, and I had never been to crash before. Right? I'd never been, been a fender bender or nothing. And it's kind of a crazy story. It's a funny story now. But, like, I'm going and, and I'm completely out, right? Like, I'm knocked out. And I wake so up. where did the car hit you? So I'm going through an intersection, and uh -huh. the car, I kind of see it coming this way, and out of nowhere, it just kind of speeds up and just kind of gets me going through the intersection. On the driver's, on your door? On the driver's side, I was solo damn, in the car. Yeah. And so I get hit, right? And I wake up, and by the time I wake up, there's already sirens. And I just remember the windows were bashed in, the airbags were out. I had a cut on my wrist where it was bleeding, and I couldn't move my neck. And I'm like, oh, like shit like this is this is serious and i can see the guy who hit me and he's completely knocked out blood everywhere and i'm like wow like this is this is scary and so i'm looking and my car's all messed up there's red everywhere and i hear this voice and i'm not like a religious spiritual kind of guy like that but i hear this voice and it's like chandler mr parsons we're coming to get you you're gonna be okay and at that moment i'm like sitting there i'm like Fuck, like, I, this, this is what happens. Like, I die. This is what mm -hmm. happens. This is God. Like, this is what happens, right? Mm. Blood everywhere. And I snap out of it, bro. And it was the OnStar from my car. Oh, <laughs> them man. telling me they were coming to get me. And I was bringing my girl home spaghetti. So half the red in my car everywhere was marinara uh, sauce. But at the moment, I'm tripping. I'm like, right. oh, shit. And then fast forward, like, the next day I go, and Atlanta's like, hey, you need to lawyer up. Like, once they find out who you are, what you're driving, like, this guy's going to sue you. And I'm like, Fuck, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Turned out it was a dude's third DUI, 56-year-old, just mm -hmm. like completely his fault. And so I was in this lawsuit basically for two years where I was recovering from injuries. Like, I messed my neck up. I tore my labor in my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Super you know, gnarly concussion. And so that kind of forced my hand to basically retire. Um, and I never thought I'd do that at 31 years old. You know, you want to go out on your own terms. Um, but it was scary, man. But then the whole world closed down with COVID. And, uh, you know, I think everything kind of happened for a reason. But it was it was scary. How are you physically right now? Obviously, I know the mental is going to take a while to just process everything. But how are you physically feeling right yeah, now? Yeah, physically, I'm, I'm getting better. You know, I'm still, like, rehabbing, working out, still training. Um, the injuries are stuff that I can, you know, they're, they're permanent. But I can kind of maintain. I'm not going to play in the NBA anymore. So I don't need to be doing that but to, to live my life and do what i want to do to be a father travel things like that i'm 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 okay and the mm -hmm. lawsuit settled so now i'm finally free and able to do cool shit like this i live in atlanta so i remember that yeah that was nice it, it was crazy it yeah. was crazy around it was crazy it was crazy how have you kind of car, uh, compartmentalized <clears throat> obviously the way you spoke on your daughter you turned instantly red but kind of just again the last two years and now something i want to visit on just like the mental side of <clears throat> having your career cut short yeah you know you were kind of you had bad luck with injuries right. towards the end but then just to have it kind of taken away with that kind of situation how have you kind of handled that yeah that that takes a toll on you i had five knee surgeries so i was kind of missing time missing games um kind of towards the end of my career anyways yeah, five five knee surgeries dude um, it was terrible. Two, three? Three and two. Yeah. Meniscus. I had microfracture. That was my first one, too, which kind of set it off and spiraled from there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it just sucks. It's things that you can't control that, you know, my dream as a kid was to play in the NBA and compete at the highest level. And um, the fact that I did that for nine years, and obviously it was altered by injuries and stuff, but I never thought I'd retire on these terms. I never thought I'd retire from the game at 31 years old. Um, and it takes a toll on you. There were some dark times there where – you know, kind of why me? Why is this happening to me? And then the crash happens. Then I'm watching these guys play that I was. You got me hating on you. Then Jack's going at me on, on fucking social media. <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder too, because I'm like, yo, Chandler's one of the coolest white boys I know <laughs> on the planet. Him and JJ Reddick, man, I'm trying to tell yeah. you. Yeah. No. And that's, you know what? That's funny he said that, but that's, it's, that's just part of it, right? And then obviously when. You know, I was on a big contract, right? And I had high expectations and I was making a lot of money and I wasn't playing. And mm -hmm. so I understand that part. Yeah. But yeah, I just never expected it to end this way and this quick. But, you know, 
you know, I'm kind of excited for the next future. 